Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Everything Sense. Last week we covered Nade Shot. This week, ironically enough, we covered Nick Merckx, one of the biggest brands and biggest personalities currently in gaming and esports. Hope you guys all enjoy. As per usual, if you're new to the series, feel free to leave a comment down below who you want me to cover next week on this episode of Everything Sense. But for this episode, we're gonna cover Nick Merckx, Everything Sense, The 100 Thieves. And it all began in April of 2019, just last year, when hints and rumors surfaced of Nick Merckx possibly moving back home to Michigan, out of Los Angeles, and away from 100 Thieves. We didn't have to wait long for that rumor to come true, as he departed the organization, but not on good grounds. We went out there, the plan was for me to grow, and in turn, that would grow 100 Thieves, right? That was my role, you know, and, and, and he, he made some promises to me as a friend, and how, how we were gonna do it, how he was going to take care of me. It just didn't end up happening, man. I don't hate the guy, you know? I definitely don't hate him, but I don't like him. You know, H him and I are not cool. We're never gonna be cool. At the same time we found out about the Nick Merckx and Nade Shot controversy, that 5% contract apparently not lived up to on Nade Shot's end. We won't go into details on that because it wasn't long until FaZe Clan also stepped in to make one of the biggest snipe signings of that same year. We already had Nick Merckx and the M fam, that audience over there, already established, already growing, and already a huge presence. You partnered that up with FaZe Clan, and of course his audience grew all the more. Quickly he became one of the most subscribed to channels on Twitch, and also later on, one of the most highest earning channels on Twitch as well. And speaking of the MFAM audience, it was actually later that same summer, Nick held and actually out of pocket paid over $100,000 for a barbecue for anyone from the MFAM who wanted to come out to Michigan to meet the guy. One of the most extraordinary events I think we've probably ever heard of, especially when it comes time for paying the price for it. And it shows you why the MFAM means so much to Nick and vice versa as well. But the big deals just kept on coming in for the guy, especially following the collaboration of joining a FaZe Clan that same summer. It was actually his biggest deal since departing the 100 Thieves organization, that being with now established partner Astro Gaming. Even more importantly, in a viral video, he also proposed to his at the time girlfriend live on stream, which everyone loved to see. The big moves kept on coming down the pipeline as later in September, Nick Merckx also announced his multi-year signing with Twitch and the movement of Twitch re-signing slowly began with the ongoing Mixer War. But we can confirm to all of you guys alongside Nick A30. Nick Merckx was amongst the first and biggest of Twitch re-signings to happen and well we all know the snowball that happened ever since. Nick and Ninja also had their legendary back and forth about mouse and keyboard versus controller and aim assist. I've watched you try to L2 spam and it doesn't work and then you start L spamming and just literally aiming and you're zooming in on I don't know you're high. Yo oh, yo the like, first I'm game you're telling me that the new on one me. is oh. broken. Now you're telling me that you're watching me and it doesn't work. You gotta Pick one, homie. You can't just say it works and it doesn't here. work. My aim, I'm sh out no, people all day, working. boy. I've been just oh destroying people well, oh too. That debate also still going on to this day. In October of that same year, Nick became one of the first Twitch streamers allowed to actually live stream and commentate live NFL games, Tim the Tapman being another, and both whilst being paid to do so. And then to end the year, he actually announced to date the single biggest and best streaming setup we have yet to see, even besting out Ninja in this as he dedicates an entire floor to showing us his brand new gaming studio, that also coming with its own viral video. To begin this year of 2020, he was also named the 10th biggest earner in gaming. Yes, in all of gaming, just one month later, it was actually Gamers Rich List who noted Nick Merckx to be one of the top earners on all of Twitch, landing him at the number one spot because he actually has the single most tier three subscription Again, it goes back to the FaZe Clan audience ever since he joined, and most notably, the M fam. He is the single most tier 3 subscribed to Twitch streamer, thus making him, of this past year, the number one earner on the entire platform. It's just incredible. And as of recent times as well, updates on the ladder controversy we've talked about over the past year or so. The most recent updates brought to us by Dr. Disrespect as he almost incidentally tried to get the three, uh, him included in that uh, pairing as well, of Nick Merckx and Nade Shot back together. Nick Merckx referring to Nade Shot as, as some choice words, which I, I won't repeat right now. That's all we've heard from that controversy ever since. And most notably, and of course most recently, it's actually Nick Merckx potentially leaving behind and abandoning Fortnite alongside many other streamers, pros, and content creators 
first to return to some of his other roots out there, one of them being Call of Duty with the now established Warzone Battle Royale. Valorant's also around the corner. We'll see if he touches on that, but either way, you cannot take away from an incredible story of Nick Merckx. Everything since 100 Thieves. The big deals keep on coming, and they are not slowing at all for the guy. I'm just excited to see what awaits him for his future. Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoy this episode of Everything Sense. One last time, who do you want me to cover next? There are so many players, content creators, streamers, and personalities for me to break it down. So if you guys want to leave a comment down below, feel free to do so. Until next time, take care, drink your coffee, drink your water. I'll see you all back here sometime soon. Hello.